When we talk about paramilitary organizations, it seems that we are talking only about organizations that exist in action movies, and that in reality are nothing more than conspiracy stories. However, these organizations are very real and are more present in today's political life than you can imagine, and today we will talk about one that is currently very famous. We are referring to the Wagner Group. Officially, the Wagner Group does not exist, but it is one of the most secret organizations in Russia. It is suspected that up to 10,000 people have been hired by Wagner in the last 10 years. The group does not control its personnel directly. Candidates are hired on short-term contracts as security personnel in companies created for this purpose. Candidates must pass rigorous physical examinations and a review of their skills and experience before beginning a period of training at facilities located near Krasnodar. After this phase, the personnel are sent aboard. If the operators are killed in action, it is unlikely that their bodies will be repatriated. According to some reports, the founder of the company is Dmitry Valerievich Utkin, who was born in Kirovograd Oblast, then Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic, in 1970. According to the statement of the security service of Ukraine in September 2017, Dmitry Utkin appeared to be a loyal Ukrainian citizen. Until 2013, he was a lieutenant colonel and brigade commander of a special forces unit of the Russian Central Intelligence Department. He retired in 2013 and started working for the private company Moran Security Group, founded by Russian military veterans. This company conducted security and training missions around the world, specializing in anti-piracy security. That same year, senior managers of Moran Security Group were involved in the creation of a St. Petersburg-based organization called Slavic Corps, which spread added contractors to protect oil fields and pipelines in Syria. Putin was in Syria as part of the slave corps and survived the disastrous mission. The Wagner Group first appeared in 2014, together with Utkin in Lugansk Oblast, in Ukraine. The company's name comes from Utkin's own call sign, Wagner, which he allegedly shows because of his passion for the Third Reich. In August 2017, Turkey's Yeni Safak speculated that Utkin was possibly just a frontman for the company, while Wagner's real boss was someone else. On December 9, 2016, Dmitry Utkin was photographed with President Vladimir Putin at a decoration ceremony. A few days later, the Kremlin spokesman confirmed the presence at the Kremlin reception of a person named Dmitry Utkin as a representative of the North God region. He said that the reception was organized for those who had been awarded the Order of Courage and the title of Hero of Russia, but gave no further details. Today, for many analysts, the organization is actually a secret squad of the Russian government, designated to intervene in conflicts where Russia does not want to be involved. There is evidence that Russians, Ukrainians and Serbs, the latter in smaller numbers, are active in its ranks, despite the fact that the organization has been pointed out as extremely xenophobic and linked to neo-Nazi organizations. According to the New York Times, the US government has indicated that the organization is funded by Yevgeny Brigozin, a Russian businessman and close associate of Putin. He is referred to a Putin chef because of his catering business, which has organized elegant state dinners for the Russian leader. The Wagners not only receive money from the Kremlin, but also do very good business while looking after Putin's geopolitical interests. In Mali, the government of Bamako pays them $10 million a month. And in their state, they also keep huge businesses such as the production of gold mines or diamonds. The leaders of the Wagner Group also run the troll farm of the Internet Research Agency, with which their actors intervened in the US presidential elections, and also carried out industrial espionage for companies all over the world, which gives them extraordinary profit. The Wagner Group gained notoriety by supporting pro-Russian rebels in the armed conflict in Ukraine that led to Russian annexation of Crimea in 2014. Since then, Wagner Group mercenaries act as combat force multipliers, armed dealers, 
trainers of local military and security personnel in conflicts where Putin has interests. There is evidence that this group has acted in the Donbass War, the Sudan internal conflict, the Second Central African Civil War and the Syrian Civil War. Although this group is believed to be acting in the state of Libya supporting General Khalifa Haftar, the strongman in the east of the North African country, as the Kremlin wishes to increase its influence in the country, and the African region and it is also believed that there are already two secret Russian bases there. The international agency Reuters revealed that around 400 Russian paramilitaries or mercenaries belonging to the Wagner Group traveled to Venezuela to protect President Nicolas Maduro after the worsening of the Venezuelan crisis. The Wagner Group has been fighting in the Donbass region for eight years. There were many Wagner mercenaries in the separatist enclaves. They were always the backbone of the pro-Russian forces inside Ukraine. They train and help mobilize young Ukrainian men for the Dobas who are forced to perform military service in the separatist ranks. According to US intelligence, Russia has suffered major defeat, so Putin is sending reinforcements for combat veterans and experience in Ukraine. Some analysts say these soldiers are likely to be used as cannon fodder to try to limit Russian military losses. Since mid-April, dozens of ads on Russian social networks have been offering $3,000 a month to go fight in Ukraine. They don't say so directly, but they are alleged Wagner Group job searchers. Between 3,000 and 8,000 mercenaries from that organization are already operating there. Some combat veterans laugh at what is happening. They know that the paramilitary group and Putin's government are looking for replacement for the untrained recruits who failed in the seizure of Kiev and who now continue with a very weak performance in the Donbass, where the war is concentrated. According to the Financial Times, this week the Wagner Group withdrew 200 Russians and 1,000 Syrians from forces it has in Libya and moved them to the front line in the Donbass. The men who were brought to Ukraine have a lot of experience in that field, as since 2014 they intervened in the seizure of the Crimean Peninsula and the creation of the separatist enclaves of Luhansk and Donetsk. The problem with this organization, according to experts, is that as a paramilitary organization, when the Wagner Group is involved in an armed conflict, the conflict is prolonged. There is heavy weaponry, civilians are substantially affected, human rights violations and war crimes increase significantly and there is no access to justice for the victim. According to radio communications intercepted by the German Foreign Intelligence Service, several platoons of Wagner mercenaries were present in the area of Bukha, on the outskirts of Kiev, on the date where torture and murder of civilians were perpetrated after the failed conquest of the Ukrainian capital. Now, this and other forces of the group are concentrated on the offensive in the Donbass. Despite the experience of the Wagner Group mercenaries, it seems that they still have a hard time winning the war in Ukraine and recruiting cash is getting more complicated every day, both for them and for the Russian army. Experts point out that it does not seem that the Wagner mercenaries are likely to change the outcome of the war, because so far a force of 190,000 regular soldiers could not do it. The Wagner men can bring a lot of combat experience and their particular and brutal way of living scorch us in their way. According to Ukrainian intelligence information, the Wagner's Russian recruiters are hiring those who were rejected in the past for having too little experience or suspicious background. They seem to be desperate, taking anyone from anywhere in the world.